Go to Galatians 3.24. I'm going to ask you a question. Sis. Because it's, it's, it's funny, it's ironic that you know, we come out here and we teach the Bible, we teach the scriptures, and a lot of our people, all of a sudden, they become biblical scholars. And I'm going to ask you a question. I, just, I want you to answer the question based off of your ideology, based off of what you've been thinking, what you've been taught, right? Read that. Galatians, I'm on Galatians 3, 3 verse 20, 3 verse 24. The book of Galatians, chapter 3 and verse 24. Go ahead. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster. He said the law was our what? Law. Our schoolmaster. So what law is that talking about? It's talking about the law that was in place before Jesus sacrificed No, himself. what, what law was he talking about? I, I can't even remember right now. I need to go back to you. But it was laws put in place for uh, um, the land of people, okay? And they, they broke the law. What okay? law? But this is... This is don't, don't ramble on. What law was our schoolmaster? The Bible said what? Read it one more time. But before faith came, uh -huh. excuse me, verse 24, wherefore the law was our schoolmaster uh -huh. to bring us unto Christ. He said the law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. Whoa. Now, what that law? Was so is, are we talking about the law of adultery? We're talking about. Are we talking about the laws of fornication? Okay, so now, law. if you go by what you just said, the law of fornication, mm -hmm. since Christ died for us, does that mean I can commit fornication? No, it does not. So wait a minute. You just said it was our schoolmaster. Listen. So read it, read the scripture again. Read the verse before it. Okay, because you know, listen, Christians, listen. a Christian, this is what they do. Okay, read, so read. Before, Watch this, sis. Just you gotta you gotta humble down and you gotta listen. Because you're not making sense. You said. The law can of I, adultery, can I, can I, you said it three it times. Us. Okay, can I explain it to you? You said it three I times. Really can, can, can we commit adultery now? Yes. We can can not. But you said it was. I did not. If you let me finish, okay. Okay. if you allow me to finish. Okay. We got you on field before, saying that was. Before, before <laughs> Christ, the sacrifice of Christ, the land, the land was ran by the law. What Meaning, law? If, I'm going to read it, give you an example. Meaning, if you stole, you can get your head cut off. Okay, okay, so now when Christ come, can you steal? No. No, but at the same token, you cannot steal, but at the same token, he's more merciful. That's where the grace and the mercy comes in. You're not the making no sense at all. Read verse 23 again for the sister. We can agree to read. disagree. Verse 23. Go ahead. But before faith came. Before faith. Before Christ came. Read. We were kept under the law. We were kept under before. what law? We were kept under the law of sacrifice. And That's right. not, no, you did not. Not the law. Not the law of committing adultery because that law is still in the place. Not the law of stealing because that law is still in the place. Not the law of thou shalt not lie, but you because guess what, sis? That you law is you still in place. Because of his grace and his mercy. So does that mean you can still break the law? You still got to own up to what you do. You still going to answer for God every last one of so us. So can you break the law or not, sis? But you're not going to get hung because, or your hand cut out because you found yes, something. Yes, you will. Because of the grace. Okay. Yes, you will. Watch right. this. Hebrews well, 10, 26. I'll tell you what, my brother. I'll tell you what. We're going to agree to disagree on no, that. No, we're not agreeing. I'm not agreeing on nothing. Agree. Listen, sis. I'm, I'm not agree. agreeing with nothing you're saying. Okay. Well, because you come in with this man's train of thought. Bring it out. You come in with what he taught you. I'm he not. taught you that you can break That's the law. Yes, you are. That's what he taught you. You're not coming with the black Messiah what he said. Because this is what the black Messiah said. Read what you got. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10 to verse 26. For if we sin willfully, if we break the law willfully, read. After that we have received the knowledge of the truth. After you receive this knowledge of the truth, it's what? The laws of God are still in place. The only law that God, that Christ did away with was the animal sacrifice. That's it. So we don't have to sacrifice anymore. You cannot walk in the store. You can't wear pants as a woman. Bro, if you wear pants as a woman, you break in the laws of God. That's, That's right. right. Now let's go back, because this is what we're showing them. This is what Christians do. Christianity, what we learned in church coming up with our grandmothers and grandfathers, we, we, we've been taught that we can break God's laws, That's and before right. we die, we can repent. That's but what right. if you get shot in the head? Then what? Can you say, God, forgive me? No, you can't, bro. This is what this white man has taught you. Now let's go back to Galatians. Let's give her the sin. Go ahead. Galatians chapter chapter 3 and verse 23. Yeah. But before faith came, go ahead. We were kept under the law. Uh-huh. Shut up unto the faith which should therefore 
which should afterwards be revealed. Which should afterwards be revealed, meaning what? We was kept under the law of sacrifice. Give me Matthew 5, 17. This is why Christ said what he said. Bring it out. Because why? The laws of God is still in place. This is what pastors, they're not teaching us the truth about this Bible. Read what you got. Watch this. The Chapter 5 and verse 17. Come on. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. You see, uh, this is, what, 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 uh, what's the color of those words? Red. Red. If this written in red, who's talking? Jesus talking. Who, who talking, bro? Jesus. Mm -hmm. What did Christ say? Read it again. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. He oh. said, don't think, don't even put this in your mind that I'm coming I to destroy to all my law. law. You understand? So guess what? If you commit adultery, that's a law. Stealing, that's a law. Breaking the Sabbath, that's a law. He said, think not that I've come to destroy these laws. Watch this, read. Or the prophet. Or nothing what the prophet said. All the prophets spoke about what? The, the restoring of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's Israel right. doing what? That's Breaking right. God's commandments and then going into captivity. This is what the prophets taught us. You understand? And he always sent the prophets to say, guess what? Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, get your mind right. Or you're going to go into captivity. That's Christ right. didn't come to destroy none of that. Read. Read it from the top. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 17. Go ahead. Think not that I am come to destroy the law go ahead. or the prophet. Go ahead. I am not come to destroy, uh -huh. but to fulfill. He said, I didn't come to destroy, but to fulfill. What did he come to fulfill? Luke 24 and 44. The Bible explains everything. It's not my opinion. It's not your opinion. What does the Bible say? This is what the scriptures say. Luke 24, and what is it, 44? Yes, sir. Read that. The book of Luke. The book of Luke, chapter 24, and verse 44. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, uh -huh. These are the words which I spake unto you. Uh -huh. While I was yet with you. This is Christ talking to his disciples. He said, this is the words I was speaking to you while I was with you. Watch this, read. That all things must be fulfilled. He said that everything, everything that was written must be fulfilled. Watch this, read. Which were written in the law of Moses. Which was written all the way going back in the law of Moses. So when Moses said, guess what? I'm going to raise up a prophet just like you, Moses. That had to be fulfilled. It wasn't fulfilled until what? Christ came on the scene. Read, watch this, read. And in the prophet. And everything that the prophets talked about. Ezekiel talking about the restoration of the two nations coming together. This thing had to be fulfilled because when Christ was walking the earth, Judah was the only, uh, was the only kingdom that was under, still under the law of sacrifice. The northern kingdom, our northern kingdom, brothers and sisters, they was over here in what you call the Americas today. They was already over here. That's why when Christopher Columbus came over here, who did he run into? Who did he run into? <laughs> the so-called Indians. That's right. You understand? Those were Israelites. They came on this side of the world because why? They was kicked, they was kicked out of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's why they came over here. After they got in the cap out of captivity, they made their voyage to this land, to the Western hem Hemisphere. Mostly. You understand? Read what you got. Voice over there. All right, go ahead, read. The book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 44. Go ahead. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you, uh -huh. while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, go ahead. which were written in the law of Moses, uh -huh. and in the prophets, and in the Psalms, concerning me. He said all these things had to be fulfilled that was written of Christ. So Christ never came to do away with, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, you can't commit adultery, That's right. defile your temple, bro. That's right. Christ, didn't do, Christ didn't do away with none of those laws. Those laws are still in effect. The only law that we do not do today is kill an animal for our sins. Right. 
That's it. That's because right. why? Give me John 1, 20, 29. Give me John 1, 29. Why? Why is that? Why are these pastors teaching you a watered-down version? Every Christian that come in front of us says the same thing, the same rhetoric. Oh, you don't have to keep the law. But then, what can I rape your daughter? Well, wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute. We didn't say all that. You can't do that. Well, what do you mean? Well, it was a schoolmaster. So does that mean that we can still break the Sabbath? Does that mean we can still run in the store and, and steal? No, it don't mean that. You blacks and Spanish, y'all make up the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. And you better get your mind right. That's as right. As you see it, it's destruction coming to America. That's right. right. Famine coming to America. If you don't have your mind right, guess what? You're going to fall to these things. You're going to succumb to these things. Right? That's, That's right. What you got. That's right. John chapter 1 and verse 29. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him uh -huh. and saith, Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold the what? The Lamb of God. Go ahead. Which taketh away the sin of the world. So this is what Christ came to fulfill. He was the Lamb of God which take away the sins of the world of the children of Israel. He's giving you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans an opportunity to get your minds right, to repent, to rethink yourself. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.